In this video, I am going to uh, revise the main issues that we addressed in chapter two. Firstly, I will give you some questions, uh, different type of questions. Uh, and uh, in the meanwhile, I hope you will, I, uh, you will try to uh, uh, come up with the answer. Uh, and even if you are not able to come up with the answer or to find out the uh, uh, correct answer, try, even try to guess it. And then after finishing uh, uh, running through the questions, I uh, will get back to uh, each question, uh, question and I will help you to find the answer in your slides, in your book, and uh, to come up with, with the correct answer. The first type of uh, questions, uh, true or false, both true or false, and also try to uh, correct the false statements. Okay, number one, question number one, beside reading, existing problems and abnormalities, clinical psychologists can play an important role in preventing certain kinds of difficulties. Again, the question again, both true or false and the correct is a false statement. Beside treating existing problems and abnormalities, Clinical psychologists can play an important role in preventing certain kinds of uh, difficulties. The question asking about the role of the psychologist in prevention over and above its role in or his role in treating uh, disorders. The second question is now try to guess the answer or come up with the answer, try to find out the correct answer, and I will get back ag again to the question, and I will help you to find the answer in your book or your uh, slides. Assessment is a way of gathering information so that a problem can be solved. Assessment is a way of gathering information so that a problem can be solved. The third question, applying principles of psychology will enable psychologists to help humans in one way or another. Both true or false and uh, correct is a false statement if the statement involves uh, incorrect uh, words. The school psychology is referred to sometimes as the child psychology. Really, do you think school, school psychology is also classified or referred to as a child psychology? Now, a different type of question. Choose the correct answer, A or B. The first statement, he helps determine which organizational and leadership techniques are most effective for a particular place of business? Organizational psychologist or school psychologist? Again, he, he helps determine which organizational and leadership techniques are most effective for a particular place of business. Question number two, he helps athletes or sport players, we mean by athletes as sport players, improve their performance and the focus sports psychologist or developmental psychologist. Again, he helps athletes improve their performance and the focus, sports psychologist or developmental psychologist. Now we have a different type of question. This is the third type today. Complete the following sentence. In, in what? Clinical psychologists gather information so that a problem can be solved. In, in what, clinical psychologists 
gather information so that the problem can be solved. Question number two, empty space and fill in the space means detecting and treating of problems at an early stage. Which type of prevention? Which means detect, detecting and treating of problems at an early stage. Number three, creativity is considered a process. Which kind of process? Creativity is considered as a which kind of process? Now, the fourth type of question today. Match group A with group B and write your answer clue. Question number one. Now I am going to read group A and then group B and you are, you have uh, uh, to try to uh, match uh, these uh, uh, items in these two groups. Group A, number one, uses animals as experimental subjects. Number two, studies devel development and the growth of behavior and experience. Number three, a branch of psychology concerned with social interaction. Sorry for a few seconds. Number three, a branch of psychology concerned with social interaction. Number four, he helps athletes improve their performance and focus. Number five, investigates the bodily structures and the functions that seem to be correlated with the behavior. Number six, he is concerned with how students learn in, learn in educational settings. Number seven, he is concerned with the odd and the unusual aspects of the behavior and the experience. Number eight, usually conducts laboratory research, lab research, I mean lab research, and psychological experiments. Number nine, works with normal or moderately maladjusted individuals. Number uh, 10, he is concerned with di diagnosis and the treatment of mental disorders. That's all about group A. What about group B, which we have to match between its items and the items of group A? A, counseling psychologist. B, clinical psychologist. C, school psychologist. D, physiological psychologist. E, experimental psychologist. F, abnormal psychologist. G, sports psychologist. H, H, the psychologist interested in the animal psychology. I, social psychology. J, developmental psychology. I hope you find out your answers and you write down these answers and then try to give you to give, to give yourself marks. Now I am going to answer each question with you.
and while answering it, I will get back to our book or our slides and find out, try to find out, check the slide and try to find out the correct answer for each question. Question number one, beside treating ex existing problems and abnormalities, clinical psychologists can play an important role or in prevention, in preventing a certain kind of difficulties. Now we have to go to a clinical psychologist. And if you check this slide with me, this is the three main activities of clinical psychologists. Number one, assessment. Number two, therapy. Number three, beverage. So psychologist, clinical psychologist plays an important role in prevention. Prevention of or preventing is a psychological disorders or psychological problems or psychiatric disorders, psychiatric illness. Besides treating existing problems and uh, abnormalities, clinical psychologists can play an important role in determining a certain kind of difficulties. Sure, this answer is correct. Assessment is a way of gathering information so that a problem can be solved. Let us check the slide that talks about assessment. Assessment, this is the definition of intellectual functioning and the personality, and it may be in the form of observation, testing, interviewing, and in either case, it is a way of gathering the information so that the problem can be solved. So, our answer will be true. Applying principles of psychology will enable psychologists to, to help humans in one way or another. Really, applying the principles of psychology will enable psychologists to help humans in different settings, such as clinical setting, industrial setting, educational setting, military situations or military organizations, and so on. Yes, sure, our answer is correct. But let us check the slide talks about that. At the beginning of chapter uh, two, we differentiated between two kinds of psychologists, neuro basic psychologists and applied psychologists. And while uh, defining the uh, applied psychologist, we said psychology is a profession as well as a science, and the applied psychologists try to put basic principles of psychological and mental phenomena that are discovered by the psychologist, by the pure psychologist or basic psychologist into practice. And applying these principles will help humans will help psychologists, will enable psychologists to, to uh, help humans in one way or another. So we can, this sentence is correct. Applying the principles of psychology will enable psychologists to help humans in one way or another. It shows the correct answer, uh, A or B. He helps determine which organizational and leadership techniques are most effective for a particular place of business. I think this is the correct answer. Organizational psychologist. And let us check the definition of organizational uh, psychologist.
The field of industrial organizational psychology applies the psychology scientific knowledge of human behavior in order to help determine which organizational and leadership uh, techniques are most effective for a particular place of business. Let me remember the question. Determine which organizational techniques are most effective. Yes. This is the answer. So uh, he helps determine which organization and leadership technique are most effective. It is the organizational cycles. He helps athletes improve their performance and the focus. The correct answer is a sports psychologist, but let us uh, check the slide talks about that. This is the definition of a sports psychologist. Definition of a sports psychologist, he help athletes or sport players to identify their challenges, work through difficult times, set their goals, and improve also their performance and the focus. Complete the following sentence. In what clinical psychologists gather information so that the problem can be solved? I think now uh, you are able to uh, come up with the correct word. Come up with the correct word. Uh, again, the question, uh, gather information. So uh, the correct answer is assessment. This is the definition of assessment a way of gathering information so that the problem can be solved. The answer will be assessment. Means detecting and the treating of problems at an early stage. We have three types of prevention. primary prevention, secondary prevention, and the tertiary prevention. The first type, second type, and third type. In the second type of prevention, secondary prevention, it means detecting and treating the problems at an early stage. So we are talking about secondary prevention. The correct answer will be secondary prevention. Now the last type of question we will uh, try to uh, deal with today. Uses animals as experimental subjects. Which type of psychologist of these uses animals? I think now we are able to get the correct answer. To find out the correct answer, it is H. H, the psychologist interested in the animal psychology. Number two, studies developmental and the growth of behavior and the experience. Which one of these study can study the development and the growth of behaviors? For sure, developmental psychologist, G. So number two, the correct answer is G. Number three, a branch of psychology concerned with social interaction. Social interaction, so are, we are talking about social psychologists. I. Number four, he helps athletes improve their performance and the focus. Yes, the correct answer is G, sports psychologist. Number five. 
Number five, investigates the bodily structures and the functions that seem to be correlated with the behavior. I would, I would like to check this slide with you. Is that a correct answer? By definition, is uh, physiological psychologist. But, but uh, try to check this is a slide. The physiological psychologist investigates the bodily structures and the functions that seem most directly correlated with behavior. Physiological psychologist. So the correct answer is physiological psychologist. Physiological psychologist D. Five with D. Number six, he is concerned with how, with how students learn in educational settings. Educational settings, we are talking about the educational psychologist. The educational psychologist is educational psychologist, educational psychologist. Counseling, clinical, schools. Ah, uh, school psychologist also is correct. We uh, uh, you have to remember that we, as we said before, you can use educational psychologist and the, uh, educational psychologist interchangeably. In Egypt, there's no difference between them, but in United States, we have a very big difference between them. If you are doing a research, you, in that case, you are classified as educational psychologist, and according to them, as educational psychologist, they classify it as a basic psychologist, not applied psychology. And uh, if you are trying to put these results of this research into practice, we have to, you are trying to apply them, in that case, you are educational psychologist. But uh, uh, now we can use them uh, interchangeably. So it is the correct answer will be C, school psychologist or educational psychologist. Bo both are true. C, six with C. Seven, number seven, he is concerned with the odd and the unusual aspects of the behavior. We differentiated between abnormal psychology and the clinical psychology. And as we said before, abnormal psychology is the basic science, clinical psychology is the applied one. And you can note we have uh, some expressions, we have key words, you can use them in def defining a clinical psychology such as treatment, uh, therapy, prevention, uh, assessment, diagnosis, uh, but according to the abnormal psychology, that's just the I try to understand, so just the I try to discover the principles, the laws uh, uh, of uh, psychological problems or psychological disorders. So who can deal with them without uh, uh, application of the results, it is abnormal psychology. So seven, he is concerned with the odd and unusual uh, aspects of the behavior and the experience. Uh, in that case, uh, seven will be abnormal, abnormal psychologist or the psychologist who is concerned with abnormal psychology, it is F. 
Number eight, usually conducts laboratory research and psychological experiments. It is experimental psychologist. Hmm. And it, it is the definition of experimental psychologist. This sentence is the definition of experimental psychologist. Number nine, works with normal or moderately maladjustment individuals. It is the counseling psychologist. Counseling, counseling psychologist is number eight. And we differentiate it between uh, clinical psychologist and the counseling psychologist. And as we said, uh, if you are dealing with uh, normal individuals or moderately maladjusted, they are clinically free, they don't develop any disorder yet, but maybe in the future they do. Uh, in that case, you, we are talking about counseling psychology or counseling psychologist as a professional. Okay, so counseling psychology, if you are talking about the discipline, counseling uh, psychologist, if you are talking about the uh, professional. But if you are dealing with patients, in that case, it is the discipline of clinical psychology and the professional of clinical psychology. Number 10, he is concerned with the diagnosis and the treatment of mental disorder. Do you remember the differentiation or the difference between clinical psychologist and uh, abnormal psychology? Abnormal psychologist or the psychologist who is concerned with abnormal psychology? In that case, this is the key words, diagnose and the treatment, and also prevention. If you are talking about diagnosis, treatment, therapy, prevention, in that case, or patient, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, this key word, not, not patient, patient, uh, both deal with patients. But if we did, but in the case of abnormal psychology, uh, abnormal psychologists they deal with patients to uh, do experiments, uh, do research. But in clinical psychology, they uh, deal with patients in order to treat them, prevent them, or uh, in, but, uh, and because the patients we are talking about the secondary and third type of prevention for sure, or assessment or diagnosis. So the correct answer will be uh, B, clinical psychologist. So number one was H. Number one with H. Number two with G. Number three with I. Number four with G. Number five with D. Number uh, six with C. Number seven with F. Number eight with E. Number nine with A. And the number 10 with B. That's all today uh, in our revision, revision to issues that we discussed in uh, chapter 2. Thank you so much.